what I want to do in this video is to take you through the LU decomposition using Duolittle's method. This is Dennis Simplifies. So, let's simplify. Solve the following using the LU with Duolittle's decomposition method. So, what is this whole Duolittle decomposition method? So, before we talk about that, I'll say that this matrix we have here is an A. And we have an x here and then the last part here is b so we are using or we are going by the formula a x equals b always be reminded of that so i want to scare you small before we actually simplify everything so as you can see here we have a three by three matrix using the general form so we have a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 <laughs> and then we also have the so that, that's our a and then we also have the L portion, which is 1, 0, 0, L2, 1, 1, 0, L3, 1, L3, 2, and then 1. And we also have our U portion, which has the U1, 1, U2, 1, U1, 3, U0, U2, 2, U2, 3, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. So what you see here, so we have the A portion, we have the L, and then we have the U. So what we're going to do in this do little method is that always be reminded that for the do le 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 little le the l for the lower or the l the lower triangular matrix they have they are going to have the ones running through the diagonal so you can see for the do le le little l the l the lower 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 triangular matrix has the one 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 l one one going by the diagonal so you see running through the diagonal but for the U portion, you see there are no ones running through the diagonal. It's just the U11, U1, U13, U22, U23, U23, U33. And then the zeros down here for the upper triangular matrix. So you can see that the upper triangular matrix, the values are up. The lower, the values are 1. And also for the lower, which is the L for dual little, the L, the ones are running through the diagonal. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to multiply the L and then the U for the dual letters method. So in this case, we are not going to go by the Gaussian elimination method and then the partial pivot where we'll have to do some row operations in order to find our L and then our U. In this case, we just multiply for the do little. So with the do little, we are doing very little work by just multiplying, right? So we're going to multiply this L and then the U. So how do we multiply L and U? That's what we move to the next step. So we're going to take this U11, multiply it by one. We're going to get U11. Take the U11 again, multiply it by L21. We're going to get L21 U11. You're going to get U11 times L31. We're going to get L31 U11. Then next, we take the 0 times 0 over here. We are going to get 0. 0 times 1, another 0. 0 times L32, another 0. Then we take another this last 0 here. 0 times this 0, 0. 0 times 0, 0. 0 times this 1, we get 0. So we are done with the first column. So we have U11, L21, U11, L31, U11 for the first column. We are done with it. Now let's move to the next column. We are going to take this U12 times 1. We're going to get U12. U12 times L21. We get L21, U12. Then U12 times L31. We're going to get L31, U12. Then next we come and take this U22. U22 times 0 is 0. U22 times 1, we get U22. So we add it to the previous ones we had. Then again, U22 times L32, we get L32 U22. And then we add it to the one we previously had. Then lastly, we take the 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0 again. So we are done with the second column. Lastly, we take the U13 and then multiply it by 1. So you get U13. U13 multiplied by L21. We get L21 U13. Then U13 times L31. We get L31 U13. Then again, we take the U23. U23 times 0 is 0. U23 times 1. We get U23. So we add it to the previous one we had here. Then we take the U23 times L32. Then we get L32 U23. And we add it to the one we previously had. Then lastly, we take the U33. So U23 times 0 is 0. U23 times 0 here is another 0. And U23 times this one, we get U33. So this is going to be our final 3x3 matrix. So the question is, do you have to memorize this thing? I will say no. 
we just have to always go by how we just did it to generate this formula if you say you're going to memorize it remember there are other methods too are you going to memorize all of them you'll probably be getting error so i'll advise that you always go through this method this way to generate your general form all right so now that now that we have our lu multiplied we are going to now equate it to the a we are given in the question so we have 2 3 negative 1 3 2 1 1 and a negative 5 3 equals what we just had this form here so with the do letter what we're going to do is that we are going to take a corresponding element and then relate it to the matrix element its corresponding element in the matrix so in this case we can clearly see that u11 here is equal to it corresponds to 2 so meaning u11 is equal to 2 then again you can see that u12 is equal to what 3 you can see that u13 is also equal to a negative 1 now the thing is that the moment you find a particular value that you know that u11 is equal to 2 you go back to the u and then write the value of the u11 over there so you know that u11 is 2 so you go back to the u where u11 is and then you write the 2 over there then you come back here u12 u12 is what 3 then you go to where the u matrix is look for where u12 is and then write 3 over there then you come here to u13 we know that u13 is for negative 1 so you go back to where the u matrix is you for you look for u13 and then write a negative 1 over there next you come down here to l21 u11 now we know the value for u11 and we, but we don't know the value for l21 but we know that this whole thing here corresponds to 3 so when we equate them we are going to get the value for l21 to be, to be 3 on 2 so the moment you know that the value for L21 is 3 on 2, go to where the L matrix is, look for where L21 is, and then put the value over there. So now that we know the value for L21, we can move on to the next one. Now L21, U12 plus U22, we know that it corresponds to the value 2. We know the value for L21, we know the value for U12, but we do not know the value for U11. So when we equate it, we are going to get the value for U22. When we equate it to 2, these two here, you're going to get a value for U22. The moment you get a value for the U22, go to the matrix U, look for where U22 is, and then put the value over there. So you're going to go continue doing this until you find for all the values in the U matrix and all the values in the L matrix. In this case, you're going to get your lower triangular matrix and then your upper triangular matrix. So this is the approach in getting your lower and upper triangular matrix using the dual letters method. So if you're able to do this right, you should have your final values to be this. So you're going to have L to be 1, 0, 0, 3 on 2, 1, 0, 1 on 2, 13 on 5, and 1. And then the U will be 2, 3, negative 1, 0, negative 5 on 2, 5 on 2, 0, 0, and then negative 3. That's if you did it right. So if you did it right, you are going to get these values. Now remember, our goal is not to find L and then U. Our goal is to solve for the values of X, right? So we know the formulas A equals LU, AX equals B. And then since we know that A is equal to LU, we can say that LUX is equal to B since A is equal to LU. Now if we say that UX is equal to Y, then we can say finally that LY is also equal to B. Now we know the value for B and we know the value for L, right? But we do not know the value for Y. Now, the moment we're able to find the value for y, we can find the values of the x we are looking for because you already know the value for u. So when we find y, we can equate it towards ux. And since we already know the value for u, the upper triangular matrix, we can find x. So that's what we are going to do. So we are going to take the l and then the y and then the b. So ly equals b, which is this, which is this. So in this case, to find the values of y, we are going to use the forward substitution method. Why? Because there's, you have more zeros on top and it is, it, is, it is easier to find the values of y when you start from the top. So from the top, we can know that y1 is obviously what? It's, it's 5. So now that we have y1, we can move to the next one, which is going to be 3 over 2, 3 over 2 times 5, which is y1, 3 over 2 times y1, which is 5 plus y2 is equal to 10. So when we do our computations, we will find y2 to be, what? to be 5 on 2. So let's put it over here. And then lastly, we are going to get 
we are going to take 1 on 2 times y1, which is 5, plus 13 on 5 times y2, which is 5 on 2, plus y3 is equal to 0. And then when we do our computations, we get y3 to be negative 9. Alright, so now that we know our values for y, now we can go up the formula and they use the ux is equal to y. So when you take the ux is equal to y, we are going to equate the u, which is this, and then the x values here to the to the b sorry to the y values we just had, which is the 5, 5 on 2, and then the negative 9. So now that we have this, we can find the values of the x using the back substitution. Now we are using the back substitution because it is easier to find the values starting from the bottom, which is x3. So from here we can see that the negative 3, x3 is equal to negative 9, which will give us the value for x3 to be what? To be 3. So next we move to the we move to the top and then we take negative 5 on 2 x2 plus 5 on 2 x3 equals 5 on 2. And then when we do that right, we are going to get x2 to be 2. So let's take it from here. And then finally we're going to take we're going to take the 2x1 plus 3 x2 and we know x2 is 2 then minus 1 times x3 and we know x3 is 3 equals 5 and then when we do our computations we get x1 to be 1 so you can see that finally we've been able to solve the metrics that we were given we've been able to find the values of the x which is 1 2 and then 3 all right friends if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section i'll be willing to reply don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Until next time, a party.